Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to download and install a vast free antivirus on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up a web browser, doesn't matter which one. But we're going to open up Google Chrome for this tutorial, but if you have any other preference, you're welcome to use it. And into Google, you want to just actually navigate over to google.com here. And once you have the Google search engine open, which is what I'd recommend you guys open to follow along best for this tutorial, because you can use other search engines, but Google will more closely mirror what you're seeing on my screen. And you want to type in a vast free antivirus, and you want to search that up. So just keep an eye out for different advertisements. You want to get it directly through Advanced themselves. So I'm not going to select the ad up here. I'm going to go down a little bit to where it says download free antivirus software and it says www.avast.com. So I'm going to get it directly through Avast themselves. You see it's a trusted website up here. So it digitally signs as Avast PLC. So you can tell that it looks like it's good to go. There's a free download option right on the page here, so you want to go ahead and left click on that. So give it a moment to load up here. Let's see, it does actually redirect us to download.cnet.com, which you know it's another good site to download different files from. Generally speaking, it looks like a vast place nice to host their antivirus over there. So we really don't, don't have much of a choice of getting it through the site or not. So we're just going to go ahead and download and run the installer. should say, do you want to allow us to make changes to your device through a user account control window? Verify publisher should say a vast software. Go ahead and left click on yes. You can minimize or close out of your web browser at this time. So at this point, you have different options about what you want to do. So if you want to do a custom install, you can. If you want to install the Avast Secure Browser, you can keep that checked. Otherwise, you can uncheck it. It's just a personal preference down there. And then I'm going to select Install. You can see it's installing down here in the bottom right corner of our window. So we're just going to let this run here for a couple of minutes.
So you can see Avast appears to have been installed on our computer now. Okay, so once that's done, you should be good to go. I would suggest running a smart scan there just to be safe now that you've installed it. And hopefully that should be about it. So, I do hope that this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.